You've got to be hungry. Stop sleeping so Stop damn sleeping. much. Stop sleeping so damn much. If you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. Stop sleeping so damn much. Yeah. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. Stop sleeping so damn much. Tent moved in into Riverdale. The, the oh, yeah, color, it was just different color scheme. Mm -hmm. Are you, you got the pictures of Riverdale? Mm, no, I only took the Chicago Heights one. I saw them at your head. So tell us your artwork here, uh, Miko. What exactly did you do to the place? Because we saw the before we pictures. I put whole some of. Thing. <laughs> Basically, we saw the colors out. Cabinets and the backsplash, the countertops to coordinate with the floor. Just use my eye, you know? Mm hmm. And you picked the color scheme and everything for it? Mm hmm. Yep. Kind of fell in love with this color, though. I like the color. I just really like that. I love this color. This brown. I love painting all of this gray. Say hi to the camera, Kisha. Tell everybody who you are. Yay. My daughter, Brooklyn. You want to say hi, Brooklyn, to the camera? Is the steam coming out? Is the steam coming out, Daddy? Hmm? Oh, right. It's by the way. We're looking forward to a new website called Tie Dye Gentis. I'm working on it. Nice. We're <laughs> here with Alton. He is a specialist, but, but I ain't gonna uh, tell you what he does. Let him tell you. Go ahead, bro. You, you live on the air. Now, now tell them a little bit about uh, the work that you did in this property here, so I can show. Oh, we got a rip and run. This other stuff. Uh, All right, so I, I got a question for you, man. Fine. Um, we did a brief episode about your upbringing and everything that you went through, right? In America, the numbers are staggering and shit. How many people suffer depression? Have you ever suffered depression? Yeah, a lot. Shit. So, to talk talk about that a little bit. I mean, just a prime example, like when, even though like some of the times with my auntie and uncle and you know, back and forth with my granny and my grandfather. Um, are you a prime example? What was it? Eighth grade graduation. You know, uh -huh. even though my, my cousin graduated, me and him around the same, me and him the same age, so he graduated when I graduated, so it felt like his mother and that was death for him, and I didn't have no one death for me. Uh -huh. so that kind of got to me a little bit. Um, you know, growing up in a house and feeling like an outsider, you know, I always feeling like the, the black sheep of the family, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. um, my grandparents, like I say, they raised they, they kids, and I was like, I was just a baby around, you know? Even when I moved back with them, I was just a he had to survive on my own. One thing she did, because it was a lot of goddamn things. <laughs> you know, she always made sure everybody ate. But right. anything extra, I have you know, clothes, shoes, stuff like that. Now, how, how did you overcome your depression? Because there, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, man, like, last year alone, there was about, the statistics say, like, 5,000 kids 
commit commit suicide and I, I think the numbers are actually supposed to go up for 2017 there might be somebody watching this episode right now and saying wow you know what he went through this now look where he's at right. what what would you what kind of advice would you give to somebody that is battling depression and how they can overcome that I mean, find something you want to do, you know? I mean, depression, I look at it because my mind was occupied with, with that. With mm. my mama gone, my daddy gone, you know what I'm saying? I had to realize, man, it's time to man the fuck up. You know, ain't nobody, wasn't nobody going to take care of me like I'm going to take care of myself. <laughs> so it was more to a, a point where it was like, okay, well, this is what I need to do. I need to focus on this and that's what I'm one of the biggest things was baseball. I played, I played ball, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of helped out. And okay. then from there, it was like, you know, I started grinding, getting money. So you stayed in activities? Yeah, activities for, for a young kid. Yeah. For parents that got young kids that see they depressed, mm -hmm. put them in activity, you know what I'm saying? And tell them they good, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, even if they ain't shit, you know, ain't worth shit, you know, playing, but just like, you know, give them some confidence. Kids need confidence. No, right. no confidence is it hurt them because they already get probably teased at school or teased on the field or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They need that confidence. They need that energy, that confidence boost. Mm. But yeah, that was my main thing when I was a show. You know what I'm saying? Sports, hanging around my friends. You know what I'm saying? So everything. You know, and as I got older, mm -hmm. you know, you still go through depression. You know, because you in and out of relationships. You know, um, I would have went through uh, therapy. Yeah, I've been through therapy. And, okay. Uh, I had what they call, or what the therapist. Change your thinking. You would change your world. Monday, I cry. Tuesday, I cry. Wednesday, I cry. Thursday, I cry. Friday, I cry. Saturday, I cry. Sunday, I cry. And that's why I'm here today. And listen to me, your problem is you're not crying.